What's up, everyone? Welcome to another edition of the 60 Minute Six Pack. I'm actually in the middle of my editing right now, but before I get going, I want to remind everyone, subscribe to my YouTube channel, get on YouTube and search CPS Dave. You'll find one of my videos there and subscribe to my channel. Everyone that subscribes between now and noon on Thursday, I'm going to get this all uploaded tomorrow. So noon on Thursday is eligible to win a Shiner Bach beanie and a Shiner Bach flag. I'm going to have two winners for this. All you got to do is subscribe to my channel and I will reach out to you on Thursday and tell you if you won. Before I do get started making this video, I want to take a second and thank our sponsors. Muff Waiters from MuffWaiters.com invented the ultimate party bibs that holds a six pack right in the chest of the bibs. And then our other sponsor, Draft Top. I've been making some videos about these lately, but this is a tool that cuts the top right off a beer can which allows you to drink it like a draft beer. So cheers. Thanks for sponsoring these videos. Let's get this thing going. We're doing a six pack from Shiner called the Texas Cold Front. And this is a variety pack. First one I pulled out of the cooler is the Dark Cherry, which is 7% alcohol. They also have a Pecan Porter and a Frost in this variety pack. And the Frost is a Dortmunder style. I don't know what that means. This is the Dark Cherry, Morello Dark Cherry, 7% alcohol. We're gonna see what it tastes like right now. Cheers. It's, um, ooh, the cherry taste really rides. It's got a little bit of a stout taste, a little bit of a um, dark chocolate coffee taste, and the dark cherry really complements that. A Shiner has a beer finder on their website, which, by the way, I recommend you go there because you'll be able to find a liquor store that carries this product near you. But on their website, you can find an entire list of their beers, and the Texas Cold Front has all three flavors side by side and there's a little short description and this is described as a traditional black lager i don't really know what a black lager is but i like the beer it's a little bit bitter a little bit sweet i really like the cherry cherry is a nice touch but i kind of like cherry flavoring i don't know cheers for 70 percent alcohol it doesn't taste that strong it goes down pretty smooth I really like it so far. Now, because this is a variety pack, we're moving on to another beer, and I'm gonna reach into the cooler and grab one. The Shiner Frost, the Dortmunder style. Now, I didn't really know what that was. Dortmunder style is named after Dortmund, which is a city in Germany. It's just a certain German style of beer. I think it's gonna be pretty similar to a Pilsner because they mentioned pills in the article that I read, but, We'll see. Cheers. The Shiner's website describes this beer as a crisp, pale lager with hoppy character and a light flurry of malty sweetness. I have a hard time reading that and then drinking a beer and going, oh, okay, yeah, light flurry of malty sweetness. Yeah, I totally see that now. I don't know. It doesn't really make any sense to me. But I do like the beer. I mean, it's been good. I don't know. It seems like this is a normal beer to me. Maybe a little more bitter than your average just Pilsner. Not quite as hoppy. <sighs> a little side note, by the way, I filmed this part of the review on Snapchat and I did a swipe up thing earlier saying subscribe to my YouTube channel with the swipe up. Went to Theo Lawrence. Theo Lawrence is a musician that's just been on my radar lately and I guess that was just my bad. I typed in the wrong thing when I, I don't know how that all works. I should know how that works. I'm the one doing it. But anyways, you know, I like this beer. It seems like just kind of a plain beer to me. I don't really know how to describe it that well, especially after drinking something that's like dark cherry 
dark chocolate tasting. This, to counter it, seems very just average beer to me. And I guess it's going to be a good balance because my next beer is a candied pecan. And on to my last beer of this review, we're doing Shiner's Candied Pecan Porter, which automatically, candied pecan, I mean, I'm led to believe this is going to be a pretty sweet beer. I guess there's only one way to find out. Ooh, doggy. That is... Wow. This is something else. This makes the whole variety pack worth it. This is completely different than anything I've ever had in my life. Wow. Wow. All right, first of all, this beer, this is the Candied Pecan Porter. I have never tasted a beer that is so perfectly candied pecan. I mean, I don't know. I guess I don't try a fuck ton of beers. And it's not like I'm a beer expert. I do these beer reviews because I like trying new things, but it's not like I'm an expert by any means. This is unreal. It tastes just like, it tastes like a candy crunchy pecan, like you get in like a holiday mixed nuts or something, or like a pecan pie or, wow. Holy crap, I'm blown away by this. By the way, this is 6% alcohol. So these things are gonna grab you by the boo-boo. Wow. All right, we're getting down to the end of this variety pack. These candied pecan porters are unreal. I, it's hard to describe how accurate that candied pecan taste is. It's, I don't know, here's, here's what the website says. A robust dark brew with hints of roasted praline pork, praline pecans. It's getting hard to say. For a nutty finish. Well, they fucking nailed it because it tastes just like pecan. I don't know, maybe pecan pie or candied pecans. I don't know. But it is exactly how the label describes it as candied pecan. Now, I had contemplated doing three different reviews for this because this variety pack comes with three different beers. There's the Frost, the Dark Cherry, and then this one, the Candied Pecan Porter. But the thing is, if you guys go out to buy it, you're going to be buying a variety pack and you're going to be trying all of them at once just like I am. And so, why church it up and make custom six packs of it? This one I am absolutely blown away by. I have never had such a... If you like if you like pecans, you're gonna fucking love this because I've never had such like a genuine candied pecan flavor in a beer. It's unreal. Wow, I am blown away by it. I'm a little bit late to the party with this. The Texas Cold Front's been out for a little while, and actually, I know for a fact that several of my followers have have tried it. I'm always late to the party and it is still out there at a lot of local liquor stores. If you use the beer finder on shiner.com you will find that out. This one is really the winner for me. It is it is just decadent. It's 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 unreal how delicious and sweet and yummy it is. I mean I know it's just a beer but you only get two of them and treasure those two because they are awesome. Cheers everybody. Thanks for coming to another review.